there's currently no start of month formula in Excel. So you need to trick Excel into taking any date and giving you the start of that month. Now the one way we can do it is actually making use of the end of month function, EO month function. So just firstly to understand the EO month function, you'll see all it asks is what's the start date. I'm going to point at that date there. And then depending what you put here, so if I put a zero, you'll notice that that's 26th of August. Zero means in the same month, 31st of August. If I put a positive one, it goes a month later. If I put a negative one, it goes a month earlier. And this is the one we're going to use. Because what we can do is we can look at the formula. We can say give us the end of the previous month. So that minus one. And for now I'm just going to say OK. So that's the 31st of July. Now all I need to do is add one onto it. But the trick here, so a lot of people make the mistake of trying to add the one in here. Remember the function has done its job. It's worked out the 31st of July. You must go outside the function. Go plus one. And now it'll give you the previous month plus one day. When I copy it down, we've created a start of month formula.